Hello and welcome to an episode number two of the R8 V10, what was brought to us, uh, Thomas and Miroslav. So, believe me or not, finally we have the parts, they are already here on the table. So we've got everything ready for the job, what's actually needed. And yeah, probably by the end of the day I'll be sitting on the wheelchair because as you can tell the space uh, on the R8 Spider is not really good. So it will be loads of squeezing with my big belly into the engine bay. Miroslav is meanwhile doing some self-studying on the internet because we are not educated people. The R8 progress in the last two weeks, none, none progress at all. Car still running shit and there's things what needs to be done. So we will start with removing the intake, but before we're gonna do that, let's check the parts what we got here, what we will be actually replacing. This is our magical box from TPS. It's always magical and mystical because you never know what will come. So I believe this is a rocker cover gasket. Yes. So more plastic than the actual part, never mind. Uh, this will be a repair kit for injector, how they call it. So you have a plastic washer, you have a rubber o ring, and you have this thermofoil ring for the bottom of the injector. So there should be 10 of them. So here's one, here's two, three, four. Hmm, four. Okay. Oh, there are more. Yes. Another five. And one is missing. Brilliant. So there's only nine. Next up. Pipe. So this is the breather pipe, which is connecting the two cylinder heads with the PCV. And I believe the one which is on the car has a damage somewhere here. So it's cracked. So that will be replaced. Then we have, what's this? This is called a valve. So this will be the oil solenoid. Yes. Brilliant. So that's here. Gaskets. These are the gaskets for the intake manifold, red ones. There should be green ones. Yeah, we have the green ones as well, brilliant. There's an invoice for five million pounds. And we have a new rocker cover with the gasket already. So that was a bargain with the PCV and the rocker cover himself. So it looks really fresh and somebody have to put it on the car. So all this, Oh, and also high pressure fuel pump gaskets. So all this gotta go somewhere over there. And yeah, um, well, I have to start removing the intake manifold, which has five million vacuum hoses and the access is not the best, but that's the job we choose to do. So let's do it. Take manifold as uh, I was expecting it was probably never removed there were some small animals like Jerry living somewhere near the intake manifold there's some uh, mouse shit over there in the corner uh, we did also run one more time the smoke test on uh, the pipe what we actually seen in the first episode and it was leaking from here and that was approved so smoky smoky testy and yeah uh, we have to get to the intake valve so that means the runner flaps gotta be removed uh, we did also find that uh, this connector uh, is not broken but the wiring is a bit um, old and start cracking so that will be sorted as well and generally cleaned up uh, i can't really wait 
I mean wait <laughs> to do the carbon cleaning on the valves because the excess is terrible and on the end of the day my back will definitely hurt but you gotta do what you gotta do so the next step clean up strip everything down get ready for carbon cleaning uh, we've got everything here in the box so I'm really hoping tonight uh, we should be able to put it back together and uh, it will be test number two I suppose and I'm really hoping after we will sort out all the vacuum leaks and uh, all the false air which was going in will be sorted and the engine will be running sweet as it deserves on the V10. So let's continue. There is a huge oil leak somewhere from rocket cover and probably from this solenoid as well. I'm not sure but there's a leak as well coming to the heat shield from the exhaust. Remove the loom for the coil packs was definitely fun because there's a Torx 30 right over there and above it is a metal plate. You can't even see the things, you know, this metal plate. <laughs> so you can imagine how hard is remove something where you can't even see. It's like bad karma, but in real life. Meanwhile, Miroslav is working on the other side. This is basically like a natural aspirate TTRS in one. So he's got five cylinders, I've got five cylinders. And yeah, it's pain. I'm not sure how we're gonna remove the bolts from the cover, which is here and there and one in the corner because I've got air conditioning here and power steering coming here and there. So, I'm, I'm starting to regret the decision that we didn't remove the engine now, to be honest. <laughs> so, next time any uh, R8 owner is watching this video, you will not get away without removing the engine. So, be careful. Okay, so I removed the bank one or two. I think this is bank two. Rocket cover with the PCV. Miroslav is still working very hard to take off the bank one. But as you can tell, he's struggling because... Yo, why are you struggling? Tell oh, us. No. Tell us. Tell us. Yeah. What's the outcome? Nobody knows. Uh, some some balls holding on the thread. You know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Typical. Oh, well. Bastard job. Yeah. Anyways. Meanwhile, Miroslav's struggling. Uh, just for fun, because you're replacing the whole rocker car because of this, I will check the PCV membrane and I'm really hoping there will be damage. If not, we're going to replace it anyways, just to make sure the whole PCV and the whole system is fine. So, I'm going to open it up now. Okay. Woo! Uh, mm.
right then so here we are fortunately a couple hours later the intake was absolutely pain in the ass to put it back in there uh, because there are a few clips missing from the uh, rubber hoses which are in the middle one of them was getting right into the corner of the manifold so it didn't sit properly so that needed adjusting uh, I clean up the two intake hoses from the oil and we'll try to start it up so I'm really hoping there will be no issues and the engine will run as it should so let's start it Okay, so we still have the spoiler light on, but I don't know what you're gonna do about that. The roof light is on because it's half open, but um, yeah, the engine is running sort of fine. It's like 11 in the evening, the V10 is running. The good news is uh, it did start, however, there was a small problem. The connector for the throttle body on bank one wasn't really pushed in properly, so there was a throttle body fault code that was erased. The engine was restarted, it was running much smoother, much better. So um, I left it running now for a couple of minutes. I will be still checking the coolant level and I have to check the oil level as well and all this stuff. And I still have to clean up the engine, finish it off. I uh, still have to vacuum clean the sides. There's a bit of a ball nut left in there. And yeah, generally finish it off and then you gotta go for the test drive. <laughs> 